Okay, Boker Tov. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bridging the Gap, Museum Education in the 21st Century, an international conference held on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of the Israel Museum Jerusalem. The participants in the following days arrive from over 15 different countries and include museum professionals, educators, artists, and academics. The Ruth Youth Wing for Art Education is proud to be the initiator and planner of this conference, and we thank in advance all the Youth Wing staff for their hard work on this project and its production. So, our first, uh, I would like to invite Mr. James Snyder, the, museum's direct, the museum director, to speak and greet us. Welcome, James. It's the 50th anniversary of the museum. Um, I mentioned to some of you yesterday that we had the idea that you don't celebrate a birthday just on the birthday, although we did on May 11th have a kind of amazing day here. I wish you'd all been here. There were 12,461 guests, and they represented everyone in Israel. And you know, it, there were two things that Teddy Kollek had in mind when he founded the museum 50 years earlier than May 11th, 2015. Um, and one of them was this notion of cultural democracy. It was the notion that a museum should be a place of national stature, whether or not you are a national institution, and we're not, we're a private institution. Um, and he also felt that a museum should be a place about education. Actually, a museum should be a place about teaching people about material culture. I mean, his focus was very Israel-centric at the moment because Israel was only 17 years old, and he was worried that all of the people who were in Israel, who were arriving to Israel, who would be growing up here, would be so busy with other priorities that they just wouldn't have time for culture. And he felt quite determined, actually, as early as 1958, so Israel was barely 10 years old, that there should be a museum of the stature of the great national museums of the great cultural capitals of the Western world here in Jerusalem, so that not just children, but that everyone in Israel would understand the importance of material culture and would see the museum as a place to come to learn about culture and to learn about, you know, I don't want to say just art, but to learn about material culture and the history of material culture from the beginning of time to the present. And this was critically important for him. Um, and, and it's amazing 50 years later to realize what we have accomplished and how, and to think about how we do that in a setting that embraces colleagues and institutions all around the world. My own museum history started, I think some of you know, at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. When I arrived there, the education program, where is that Wendy Moon? There she is. Who, Wendy Moon, who is there now, and I discussed this yesterday. When I first arrived at MoMA, it was still basking in the glow of a guy named Victor D'Amico, who really created the field of museum education in America. And in a way, at that time, MoMA had the prize-winning museum education program. And not to diminish it, but yet it was about embracing a small group of students and, and uh, older aficionados of culture who could be engaged in the notion of education in a museum setting. When I arrived here 18 years ago, I was astonished to see that the education wing of the Israel Museum was one of the four curatorial wings of the museum. We had archaeology, Jewish world culture, the fine arts, and education. And in our program in education, then and still today, we were teaching 100,000 participants, not just bringing them in on a bus, giving them a tour and sending them home, but actually engaging with them, teaching them in courses, beginning with preschool kids coming through, adults, mature adults, retired folks who wanted to participate and to continue to have ongoing learning and culture. And it was astonishing to me, and it continues today to be that way. And Norit Shilo Cohen, who was actually the head of the youth wing then, is here now. And Tali, her, 
Her twice later successor is not only here, but really shepherded bringing all of you together uh, for this conference just now. And I only want to tell you that you all know how important educating in our settings is here and everywhere else in the world. And, and perhaps you might stop for a moment to think that in the whole year long celebration that we're making at this museum, we felt that among the conferences, openings, exhibitions, programs that we would do all year, we wanted to have this moment. We wanted to have this occasion where we could gather colleagues from within Israel and from the rest of the world to think about this critically important subject because we all know that what we do in museums, and we feel this particularly here, where our job is to shepherd material culture from the beginning of time to today, which is not a small brief, wherever we are and whatever we do, it becomes that much more important given the complexities outside of our little museum settings in the rest of this very challenging world to make sure that people continue to understand what material culture is about, what it means for their lives, and what it means for what their roles should be for the continuation of life as we know it. So nothing could be more important than what you all are gonna do here for the next few days, and we're just delighted that you're gonna do it in a setting that I have to say we're a little bit proud of because we feel that it represents what a material cultural landscape is supposed to be all about. So have a great time, and we're delighted you're all here.